can't get away from work how about taking work to your getaway very often i meet people who want to live in the mountains travel more but don't want to leave their jobs so i set out on a mission to find this shangrila for the corporate professionals life is all about yeah earning money yes yes it's it's there but if you are not enjoying your present right so what is the uh, use of you know having that money and my hunt brought me to alt life a hostel in the hippy village of dharamkot this village has no roads except for the one leading to it all you will find are narrow pathways going up and down ideal for aimless walks through the village alt life is basically a co-working space equipped with private rooms dorms wifi cafe and most importantly a like-minded company of professionals who wish to take their desk to the mountains i'm from iit delhi a mechanical okay. so i i passed out in 2013 and then uh, we had uh, the north of india to explore so we used to go to manali and all these places okay so uh, my experience is i i, I like to travel Okay. I have a corporate job, so okay. and this job gives me the flexibility okay. to work. So I was actually a math teacher. I was uh, I had a tutoring business for seven years. From those days, I got to know what is the meaning of you know actual exploring spaces and you know traveling to far off places and right. enjoying the natural beauty. But how did it happen? What's what was the tipping point or? basically why 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 do you want to work from here and not from the conventional setup of or the confinements of your office around the age of 25 i uh, kind of said okay screw my life in tel aviv i want uh, i want to explore a bit during my corporate days i i took my cto cmo ceo everyone to go for a trip again to manali <laughs> <laughs> so i uh, i took a trip to europe for 3 months and uh, experienced uh, in those Three months, like a very significant um, shift in my experience, in the quality of my experience, uh, and then I went back and I, in two weeks, I wrapped my business up, uh, sold everything I had. So when we were traveling in that car, I was working, and you know, everything was going at the same time. Work on the move, work चल रहा है। तो वो उससे कहीं ये click हुआ कि यार why not? Yeah, कहीं से लगा कि यार ठीक है मतलब I think I'm capable of traveling as well as working. <laughs> okay. Right? So over the last uh, year and a half, I'm kind of cultivating a new skill set, which okay. is content writing and translation. Okay. And um, I'm uh, as a freelance. And then everything is on a Skype. Yeah. You have mobile phone, you have emails and everything. So my work was favoring me. come here and work the best thing about dharamkot is the vibe while there is peace and serenity at one corner the happy feels can be found at the next one and in the middle of all this if you crave for your morning cuppa or the cheesy delights of pizza well the place has quite a few cafes serving everything from israeli to european to tibetan dishes I always used to think, uh, uh, sitting on my on my workstation, I actually used to daydream, and I'm not exaggerating. I actually used to daydream that instead of these buildings and traffic which is visible right from the window of my office, what if I can see a panoramic view? I'm actually slightly confused whether it'll add to my productivity or I'll, I'll completely right. be grazing at it. So, well, it will, it, it will affect it, so it will change, you know. So it, it will not be the same output that you have, you know. back home maybe for better or for worse but you, you might uh, give birth to something a bit different you know because for me so like especially solo travel is like a catalyst for the biggest growth you're going to see in your character hands down and uh, and i mean it it competes with with the with the big players like psychedelics and therapy and you know meditation and what not how's the how's the day like for you guys How's yeah. the routine over here, or for that matter, at any at any other location? Yeah, just how, parties how like? and drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly, you know. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> you know, you want it all. So, so my morning goes like I wake up, and my particular uh, like choice of this place was because this is nearby a place called Vipassana Meditation Center. Yeah, yeah. So I am uh, I do that. Okay. I try to follow that practice. So in the mornings they have their group sitting. Okay. So I wake up. Uh, get fresh and go for the meditation yeah and after that i come back uh, from it and then i do my breakfast and then it's time to open the laptop yeah and do the morning calls which are there 
and just get to know the task for the day. My mood remains very cool and calm. You know, when I wake up in the morning, I don't feel that much of a stress. And just the, 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 the lunch with the amazing people, <laughs> uh, different people, it's not the same office people, you yeah. are doing lunch every day. Yeah. So every day you get to meet different people and you share your food with uh, these people. Yeah. Co-working thing that has come up. Yeah. So within these two weeks I have got to meet a lot of interesting people here. Like from artists to photographers to filmmakers like you. <laughs> and uh, who not, like writers, they, yeah. and the amazing people. Uh, people who started NGOs like the last person you were yeah, talking yeah, yeah. to. So it, it also gives you a sense of what other people are doing, what's really going on. Exactly. And in the evening, uh, you take a tra uh, walk down the mountains, go to a cafe nearby, have a coffee, and come back here. Maybe there's, uh, if there's a bonfire here, if there's not rain. I agree that this might not be the perfect setup for everyone. But if you are looking for an escape from a desk overlooking another building to a co-working table with a colossal view of the mountains, then alt life can be your alternate to work from home. Or as I put it, work from the mountains.